Power Suit Maker. Click on the button to choose your mode of play. Build whatever creature power suit you want. Even a suit that combines creature powers of different animals. Just drag the part you want onto Chris or Martin. Get creative! Awesome! The rhino's legs need to hold up a body that weighs as much as 3,000 pounds. Awesome! The sea turtle flaps its flippers like a bird to fly through the water. I like that! Bats use echolocation to find their way around and locate prey in the dark. Cool! The skunk can shoot its spray up to 10 feet. Ha <laughs> ha! Cool power suit! That's a really cool power suit. Great job! Let's make a new power suit. I like that! The rhino's legs need to hold up a body that weighs as much as 3,000 pounds. Awesome! The Gila monster's tough scales keep water inside its body so it doesn't dry out. Cool! The harpy eagle, like most raptors, also has excellent vision. I like that! The spider monkey's grabby tail is called a prehensile tail. Haha! <laughs> cool power suit! That's a really cool power suit! Great job! Let's make a new power suit! I like that! The dragonfly forms his legs into a basket to capture mosquitoes. Cool! The spotted skunk does a handstand when it uses its stinky spray defense. Awesome! The harpy eagle, like most raptors, also has excellent vision. Awesome! The crocodile has a long, powerful tail for swimming. Ha <laughs> ha! Cool power suit! That's a really cool power suit! Great job! Let's make a new power suit! Cool! The rhino's legs need to hold up a body that weighs as much as 3,000 pounds. I like that! A dragonfly can rotate its wings forward and backwards. I like that! A skunk is an omnivore. That means she's sniffing out both plants and animals to eat. Cool! The porcupine will swat its quilled tail at predators that come too close. Creature power! <laughs> That's a good one! <laughs> Great job! Let's make a new power suit! Awesome! The skunk doesn't need to run fast because it has a great defense. Cool! The aardvark can dig a burrow big enough to fit into in just 5 to 20 minutes. Cool! The cheetah's black eye markings cut down the sun's glare so the cheetah can focus on its prey. I like that! The spider monkey's grabby tail is called a prehensile tail. Creature power! <laughs> That's a good one! <laughs> Great job! Let's make a new power suit! Help me build a creature power suit! I'll tell you what we need, and you choose the correct body part and drag it onto one of the Crap Brothers. We need long, light legs for running fast. Again, we need long, light legs for running fast. Sorry, not that one. Try again. We need long, light legs for running fast. Nice work! The cheetah's legs power him across the savanna at 72 miles per hour. We need a creature with huge lungs for breathing. Oh, that's not the one I was looking for. Try again! We need a creature with huge lungs for breathing.
That's right. The cheetah needs to take big breaths to get the oxygen it needs for sprinting. We need a head with special markings to cut down glare from the sun. Sorry, not that one. Try again. We need a head with special markings to cut down glare from the sun. That's right. The cheetah's black eye markings cut down the sun's glare so the cheetah can focus on its prey. We need a tail to help with balance during high-speed turns. That's right. The cheetah uses its tail for balance during high-speed turns. Great job! Let's make a new power suit. We need basic, short, furry legs because it never has to run very fast. Oops, sorry, that's five strikes. Try again. Help me build a creature power suit. I'll tell you what we need, and you choose the correct body part and drag it onto one of the Crap Brothers. We need legs that help steer in the water and dig nests in the sand. Nice work! The sea turtle has strong rear flippers that dig nesting holes on the beach. We need flipper arms for moving in the water. Nice work! The sea turtle flaps its flippers like a bird to fly through the water. We need a scaly head with a beak. That's right! The loggerhead sea turtle beak is similar to a bird's beak, but he uses it to eat mainly shellfish. Great job! Let's make a new power suit. We need back legs that help move lots of earth while digging. Oh, that's not the one I was looking for. Try again. We need back legs that help move lots of earth while digging. Sorry, not that one. Try again. We need back legs that help move lots of earth while digging. Nice work! Aardvark uses his hind legs to push loose soil backwards while he digs. We need arms with super strong sharp claws for digging. That's right! The Aardvark can dig a burrow big enough to fit into in just 5 to 20 minutes. We need big ears to hear small prey and a long tongue to slurp them up. That's right! The Aardvark's 12 inch long tongue goes right into the termite tunnels. It's sticky too! We need a good tail to lean on while digging. That's right! The aardvark leans on its tail to get more leverage while he digs through the concrete-like termite mounds. Great job! Let's make a new power suit. We need legs that help steer in the water and dig nests in the sand. That's right! The sea turtle has strong rear flippers that dig nesting holes on the beach. We need a stinky defense and a coat pattern that warns predators to stay away. Oh, that's not the one I was looking for. Try again. We need a stinky defense and a coat pattern that warns. Oops. Try again. We need a stinky defense and a coat pattern that warns predators to stay away. Oops. Sorry. That's five strikes. Try again. A